boxing, soccer, taekwondo, cricket and hockey will start off day one of the two week long event. Touch rugby will be the only sport where the divisions of men, women and mixed will compete on separate days. AFL, weightlifting and boxing will commence by day three, with softball and rugby sevens the day after. Basketball will also start on day three. Of the 28 sports, only soccer will last a full two weeks. And that is a testament to the popularity of the sport. Although Team Millen Bay are defending champions, Morabe has always been considered the spiritual home of football in the country, and the neighboring Momase provinces will take advantage of that. Athletics will begin the para-athletes earlier, before the able bodies began theirs. Golf has been a sport with huge potential, and these games will give an avenue to exhibit that, with the sport to commence by day eight of competition. With the growth of women's AFL and cricket, there will be interesting matchups between the provinces. Team Western has had to pull out due to finances, or rather the lack of it. And while the talent they possess may not be showcased, others will be sure to step up to the plate. Team NCD through Governor Poe's pop-up have expressed confidence in their endeavor to win back-to-back -back games. But big threats remain from centers like East New Britain, Eastern Highlands and Central. If, if, not, if we don't win the title again, I'm still happy because my idea is to hype it up, challenge everyone. East New Britain will be strong, especially after having done well in athletics and of course softball. While a lot of focus has been on the aforementioned provinces, a quiet but still potent force will be Team Western Highlands. They will of course face stiff rivalry from the other Highland provinces. Included in the mix is of course the autonomous region of Bougainville. A strong contingent is expected, among them the provincial team the Black Orchids. The Orchids have been strong in a competitive season on the Rugby 7 circuit and will be looking to have a big impact in the event. Currently Black Orchid is now uh, training uh, to take part in this uh, sixth Pacific uh, PNG Games in uh, Lei, Morabe province. Much has been made of Ho City Lei's preparedness for the games. Venues have yet to be fully prepared, and the city's crime wave over recent months has fueled security concerns. Yet the games will go ahead. The sixth PNG Games are the country's premier sporting showpiece. Opportunities do exist to further one's sporting career, and these opportunities, for some, are a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Jeremy Moggy, National MTV Sports.